the challenge in front of us is clear and it's not going to go away. We will age our way into this. We know the immense toll that these conditions take on the individuals. We have to invest today in order to realize disruptive innovations of tomorrow. Yes, dollars are investments and we need them. But it's beyond dollars. It's attention, it's effort, unrelenting effort to discover our way out of this. Cleveland can be the center for discoveries that will disrupt the rising wave of neurological disease that we're talking about today. It is probably, I have to say probably, easier to develop a drug that will halt progression in the early stage than to try to reverse brain loss that has already happened. Being able to detect very subtle changes early on, along with brain mapping, will be ways for us to offer no drugs early. When you're targeting diseases that affect humanity so greatly, uh, you know, you need to be ahead of the curve. With digitization, our ability to collect data more objectively, not subjectively, we will be able to amass the information to match that against brain mapping, and that can be the framework for us in partnership with others to develop those treatments. It's in that creative friction from scientists, engineers of very different backgrounds that will spark the ideas that will actually be transformative. So the building is really not just a house, it's an enabler. It's the mindset to let people think in new ways and let young researchers go down avenues that not everybody thinks might be so promising uh, in, the, in the beginning, but uh, sometimes magical things happen. I did not grow up in Cleveland, Ohio, and I saw the opportunity for innovation, for discovery, for pushing the boundaries. I knew that if given the opportunity, I would never leave. And I bet you that there are many people around the country, around the world, that feel the same way, that would like to come to Cleveland and help us develop a major hub. I really believe that. Mm -hmm.